Haiti. And I think we would all agree that that is a good thing, but um, it's probably more timely in a community like ours than anywhere as we mourn the loss over the last week of five members of our community um, through violent crime. The youngest being uh, Deja Brookshire, who was killed two days ago at the age of 15. The significance of, of this upsurge in violence is that we have been working earnestly on this for the last four years. And in fact, uh, two years ago, talked about and, and outlined our Gary for Life initiative. And so it might be easy for someone to say that um, it's not working, especially when you see uh, something uh, uh, as what we've seen over the last uh, week. But even with the increase in violent criminal activity, that does not mean that we are going to get discouraged or even shrink in the face of it. It means that we really do have to double down in a variety of areas. And so our message is that this is not simply a law enforcement issue. And um, the irony is that when we originally scheduled this conference, it was to highlight uh, a member of the corporate community who really does understand that this is not simply a law enforcement issue. And that is uh, the Northern Indiana Public Service Company, NIPSCO and their efforts to really support our Gary for Life initiative through the contribution of $70,000 to the work that we're doing in our anti-crime uh, effort. And, um, you know, we certainly want to thank them for their uh, support, but it's not just the corporate community, it's not just small businesses or large businesses. It's not just our work as it relates to the faith community because they're actively involved, but it's all of us working together. It's law enforcement. It's the community being willing to say what they see uh, and to serve as witnesses and to help police as they work. And it's uh, really acknowledging the importance of a cooperative effort in this regard. You know, it can't be a march here or a, a, a march there. It can't simply be uh, one or two people willing to come forward in one or two neighborhoods. We have to do this all together. And the police are working hard. It is also an acknowledgement that in order for us to really um, make headway in this area, we have to address the compensation issue. And so by the end of this week, we are going to be very clear on the raises that will be provided to fire and police, because we understand that to be a, a clear part of this. And so with that, um, I want to give uh, Councilman Ron Brewer an opportunity to address this issue uh, we will then um, ask Chief McKinley to come forward. And then we want uh, Eddie Melton, who is the uh, manager of governmental and community relations on behalf of NIPSCO to come forward. And then I want you to hear from Joy Holiday, who is the new coordinator of our Gary for Life program. And then after that, we will answer any questions uh, from the media. So with that, um, Councilman Brewer, who's the vice president of